Hello everybody, welcome back to Scuba Talk. Uh, my name is Scuba Dave, and I just want to go over a couple things here today. Uh, been asked a, a few questions uh, about my dry suit in particular that I want to get out and I want to share. Uh, things you might want to look for uh, when you buy a dry suit, um, because there's, there's all kind of them out there, okay? But in my dry suit, and the reason why I bought mine is because mine has, my dry suit is made by uh, Whites. Now they're made by Aqualung. Okay, and mine is called the uh, Fusion Bullet. It's made by Whites. Um, and mine has what they call the SLT. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head what the SLT means, but basically it's just a quick way of swapping out the seals, okay? The seals will come in a package like this, okay? And this one is, is all sealed and everything, so I'm not gonna open it, because it's helping, uh, it preserves my uh, seals until I need them, okay? But they have uh, eight rings on them. Now, mine are cut. Uh, my wrists are a five. So when you get yours, you'll get your seal. And when you're ready to put it in, you'll take a, a brand new razor blade and you'll hold it like, like this. Put your fingers in there and you'll just slowly cut. And you don't want any nicks. You want nice, clean cut. Take your time when you do it, okay? Um, and because a nick means it's... As soon as you put it on, it's going to tear. And now you, you've got to get a new seal. So uh, what you want to do is you'll cut it. And then you'll come. And you're going to come to your suit. Let's see if I can get this first try without struggling here. And you're going to pop this out. Like I say, it takes me a little bit here. There it goes. Okay, not too bad. Okay. And then the seal comes out. And the way the seal is, is you can just peel it off, off of the ring. Okay. It's a ring system. And this has grooves on, on the uh, ring. And it has grooves inside the cup here. Okay. So basically all you're going to do is after you've cut it, you can try it on. Make sure it's going to fit. Okay, now, I don't cut my seals for the wrist because as you're diving, you're going to be moving your hands, whatever, and you don't want this thing to pop out or whatever because water is going to go in. So I put mine right above the wrist is where I put mine. Okay, that way I get a nice good seal. Um, and you want it nice and snug, okay, really nice and snug. Okay, and so after you get it done, after you get it cut and everything, okay, then you're going to take it, okay, and you're going to put it back through and then you're just going to mount it in the groove okay that's all you have to do is just put it in the groove okay you're going to work it in there to where it's nice sitting down in that groove Okay, because that, that's how you want it. Nice, just like that, sitting right nice down in that groove. Okay, all the way around. See that? Okay. Then, basically, I'll take it, take my wrist. Okay, take the wrist. Now, these are oval. Okay, so you're going to match it up, oval to oval. Okay, and you just push it down in there, just like that. Now, I'm ready to go. So if I was out diving somewhere and I had ripped the seal, you just seen how fast I replaced it. Not too bad, okay? As long as you have your, your backups with you, make sure you throw them in your bag so you have them. Okay, so that's how you do it. The neck is basically the same way, okay? A little bit different, but basically the same way, okay? The other thing I wanted to go over just as a learning tool, because I was talking to some people, and they didn't quite understand, but you want to make sure you wax the zipper, okay? Keep the zipper nice and waxed. Even when you're not using it, okay, you want to take it and you want to wax the zipper. If you're going to store it for a couple months or whatever, wax it. I try to do mine about every two months. Uh, I, I pull it out and I wax it, okay? Just get your uh, wax. They come in all different kinds. Just make sure it's zipper wax, okay? Surfers use it. 
Okay, same thing. Um, okay, so you can also use this on your wetsuit. Okay, uh, if you have a, a, a seven mil wetsuit, zipper wax it. Okay, it's going to help that zipper go up and down nice and smooth. So basically all you want to do, you want to take it, you're going to find the upper part here, put some wax on it like I did. Okay, after you go all the way around uh, on the top part, come to the bottom part and do the same thing. Okay, put some zipper wax. And then once you do the whole thing, okay, then you want to take it and you want to work the zipper, you know, and it should be nice, nice and smooth, just like that, okay? All the way around, nice and smooth, okay? And then when you store your dry suit, okay, make sure it's always unzipped when you store it. Don't, don't store it zipped, okay? So make sure it's always unzipped, okay? Um, that's about, that's all I got for you today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free. Uh, to leave a comment below, or you can email me. I'm scubadave94 at gmail.com. Um, if you'd like me to talk about any other uh, topics, please feel free to email me or leave it in the comments. If this video helped you in any way or you'd like the video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the subscribe button or give us a, give us a thumbs up. Greatly appreciate it. Helps us uh, get the video out there if you'll do that, okay? Uh, have a great day. Enjoy diving. Have fun.